The Lexus Audio Editor is a free and full-featured audio editor for iPhone or iPad, and it may just be the best audio editor for iOS that I've ever used. Are you keen to find out more? Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music and today we got something special. I have found what I think is the best audio editor going around, let alone the best free one and this is the Lexus Audio Editor. So we're going to go through all of the features. We've got a bunch of effects in here that we can do. We can manipulate our audio, we can cut, copy, trim, fade in, fade out, all of the things that you want to do with either a finished audio product or with your individual audio clips and loops and samples. So let's stop talking and dive in and start taking a look. Now, sometimes free when it comes to an app doesn't really mean free. You're probably thinking, oh, you're going to come in here, you're going to select an option, or maybe you're going to share and it's going to say, oh, I'm sorry, that's a premium feature. Please upgrade. Well, I can tell you that you can do everything in this app. The only premium upgrade is the MP3 converter. So if you want to convert to MP3, you won't be able to do that directly from here. I've got other videos where I show you how to do that anyway. But everything else, including exporting your project as an uncompressed WAV file, and I have haven't hit any limits of time or quality or anything else, it can be done in here and there's a heap of options. So we're going to jump into all of these. Now the interface here is very familiar if you've used something like Audacity. You've got your markers to mark in and out to work on what part of the audio clip you want to use. And then you've got a big menu here of all of the different things that you can do, including a big range of effects here. So we've got all sorts of things in here and we're going to cover each and every one of them in this video. So let's get started with some audio now. Now there's a few ways that we can actually get audio into the Lexus Audio Editor. We can actually open a file, so we can tap the open button up here on the top and we can import from either iTunes or from iCloud. Most of you will want to tap iCloud and then tap on the browse button because this is going to bring you into your regular files locations here. So if I wanted to go say on my iPhone into GarageBand, GarageBand file transfer and open my latest song here, I can tap on that and it's going to open the stereo WAV file there. You can see it's a 44.1 kilohertz wave file is ready to go. If I want to start playing this track, I just hit play. And we're good to go. And then I can move my playhead around here. I can start adjusting by moving my handles here. We'll cover all of that as we go on in this video. So that's the first method. You can also send files from any other application. So from GarageBand or any other DAW. So let's show you that now. So if I'm here in GarageBand and I want to actually send this file, I can just tap select and hit this one and hit the share button down here in the bottom left, share the song, share it as an uncompressed WAV file, and then when it pops up here, if I slide across all the way to the right, yes, I've got far too many apps here, eventually I'm going to find this one, copy to Lexus Audio Editor. If we tap on that one, it'll export the song, and then boom, it's going to bring it across in and throw it straight into the audio editor. So that's really cool if you just got, say, a sound in GarageBand or another DAW, you want to bring it in here, you want to do some manipulation, you then want to re-export it, you can then send it back or save it out as a file, bring it back into GarageBand. So that's the second method. The third method, is to actually record your own sound because Lexus has a built-in audio recorder as well. So to do that, all we do is hit the record button here. The Lexus audio recorder is awesome. And hit stop. And there you go, we hit play. The Lexus audio recorder is awesome. And we have our little audio file ready to go. Now you'll notice there's a record volume slider here. So if you need to up your gain, if you're not getting enough gain through, you can do that. You can plug in interfaces and record using that. I just used the built-in microphone on my iPhone for this example. So that's how we get sounds in, but you're interested in what we can now do with these sounds, right? So let's jump in and show you the next phase, which is all of our effects and processing that we can do here in Lexus. Okay, so by default, you can see here that the whole audio WAV file is selected here. It's all that uh, bright green color because we haven't set any marker in or out. So anything we do, if we tap in the top left here, any of the effects that we add to this are going to be for that whole section. So if we tap on effects, we can now use any of these effects on that whole section. So let's show you the normalize effect to start with. If we tap on normalize, 
it's going to bring up the volume. So all normalization does is brings up the peak of your volume to zero dB. So we've just got a slightly louder sound now. This can be useful if you've got a recording that is good quality but slightly too quiet. You can normalize the volume and do that right here in Lexus. So there you go. That is the first thing that we're going to cover here. If we tap on the effects here again, and you can see we've got an undo button if we wanted to undo that normalization. But if we tap effects again, we can also reverse. So yes, this is another cool effect. So let's hit the reverse button and it reverses our whole uh, our whole audio file. So if we hit play on this one now, Yes, we can do that. Uh, yeah, the, what is it? The Beatles, Paul is dead. If you play it back. Anyway, um, yeah, you can reverse your audio file, create some pretty cool effects doing that. Again, we probably don't want this reverse, so we'll tap in the top left. We'll hit the undo button, and there you go. We've now got it back around the right way around. So that is the basics if we want to do it on the whole thing. But what if we want to actually just clip a certain section and then manipulate that? Well, no problem. What we can do is grab these markers, the front one here on the left, and drag this across. So say we just wanted this particular word, we can put the front marker there, grab the back marker and put it here before the next word. And now when we hit play, is, is, I don't know why I chose the word is. Uh, in fact, let's choose the word awesome. So we'll come over here, we'll line it up with awesome. So now, awesome. Awesome. So if I wanted to just use awesome or do something with awesome, I can do that. So yes, it's easy to do something to just a part. So if you need to bring up the volume or normalize just part of a track or do any of the effects on part of a track, that is how we set it up. So let's jump back in now and look at some of the, some more of the effects that we have here in Lexus. So fading in and fading out on a track is something that you may want to do here. So if we wanted to do that on this particular audio piece, so say we wanted to fade in on this first word, we bring it down to here. We can then select just that first word. Whoop, we've moved our marker. Can select that. If we tap here in the top left, we can select effects and then we can actually do the fade in. And you can see there, it actually changes the waveform. And I wanted to show you this because unlike a DAW where it would just put like a fade curve on there and it's actually keeping the audio intact, this is actually using destructive editing. So as opposed to non-destructive where it doesn't actually change and the audio is actually all still there, once you've changed it, it has actually been changed. So you do need to be careful with that. You can still undo, of course, but once you've gone a few levels deep, uh, yeah, make sure you've got a backup copy before you do this. Let's fade out at the end here. We'll tap here. We'll We'll tap the effects again and then we'll tap fade out and there you go it's going to fade out at the end so if we go back and listen to the whole track again now hit play the lexus audio recorder is awesome so yeah, and it's faded out and then of course we have the louder bit that came at the end. So we'll, we'll show you how we can trim that off in a minute. In fact, it's another of the effects we have here. But yeah, you can easily use fade in and fade out. And if you're we're using a track here, and I promise we will actually put a music track in here in a minute to show you some of these, then you'll be able to see that fading in and fading out is super easy to do. Now we also have a way to zoom in. So if you want to go in and do some finite changes on a piece of audio like this, you can actually hit in the top right corner. You can tap the zoom option and you can see here we can zoom right in here to the waveform. So now if we wanted to line something right up at the start here, we could do that and then grab our end marker and do that. And we've got that one particular section really clearly defined if we hit play. Record it. We can just play in just that particular section. What we can also do, you'll notice here under the pause button, there's a loop box. So if we tap on loop, we can actually play back this particular section on a loop. If we hit play now, chord it, 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 chord it. Yeah, that sounds really weird, but you can loop the playback of the selection of the part that you've actually selected as well. So a couple of little quick navigational tips before we jump back into more of the effects and editing options. Now, as well as the effects, we do have these editing tools. So what you would have seen when we tapped in the top left here, we've once we've actually got a selection there, we've got all these, the cut, the copy, the paste, the delete, the trim. So I'm just going to show you how we can use those, and then we'll jump back into the effects because these are quite cool. So the first one at the top here is silence. So if we wanted to completely cut out that part, we can tap silence, and we can override a selection with silence like that. So now it's actually going to cut out that word completely. So if we come back and listen either side of this one. Audio is, audio is, audio. 
And again, we've still got that loop on there, so we can take that off if we wanted to. So that's going to be good if you just want to like cut the audio completely in a particular section. Maybe you're censoring something out or you need to remove some sensitive data or whatever it happens to be. You can actually use that silence option. So that's the first thing we can do here. Let's, uh, let's undo that. Again, we tap on the top here. We tap on undo. So we can bring that back in there. The other options we have here are our pretty standard cut, copy, paste. So we can cut a piece of audio by just cutting it there and it will slide everything else uh, up together like that. So if we hit play now, audio rip is awesome. So it's actually just cut that particular piece out. And if we want to put that back in some different location, we can just put the, uh, the marker in here and then we can tap in the top left and hit paste. And now it's going to be a little bit wacky and out of order. Let's hit play. This audio rip is quarter. Yes, I'm sounding a bit confused there now. Um, so yeah, you can cut and paste. You can copy and paste, which means it's going to leave a copy and then add that additional part in there. And you can, of course, delete. So if we just hit the delete button, it will just delete that entire section in between and it won't pick, keep it on the clipboard for you to paste in somewhere else. So we'll undo that one again as well. The final option here is our trim option, which is really handy. So for this one where I've got this here and that's where I want it to actually end, I can just put my in and out markers and instead of having to delete the, the front bit, delete the back bit, if I tap in the top left here and come down to trim or inverse delete, then it'll do that. It will remove those silence bits and make sure that I've just got the bit of audio. And if you're exporting from GarageBand, this can be a super handy thing to use because it means you can chop off the front and the back and you can actually get a really uh, tight mix and, and your final mix can be really good. You can have it start and finish exactly when you want. This to. next section, I want some actual music because we're gonna take a look at some of the cool effects we have here in Lexus. So I'm gonna tap the open button here. Yes, I'm gonna discard my little audio file there. I'm going to tap open from iCloud, hit the browse button here, and let's bring in my song people these days. Here it is. Here's my nice stereo waveform ready to go. Now I'm going to use one of the tips that I just gave you, which is the trim feature. So we can trim off the start and the finish of this one to do that. Uh, there we go. We can tap in the top left and we can hit trim. So that's just going to clean it up. If we hit play now, There is my song file ready to go. So let's jump in and take a look at some of the cool effects we have here. And the first I'm going to show you is our speed, pitch, and tempo, because I get asked this a lot. How do I change the speed, the pitch, the tempo of a particular piece of audio, or perhaps an entire track like this one? So what we can do, if we've got the entire track selected like this, we can tap the top left here, and under effects, we can come down here. Now I'll show you speed first because pitch and tempo are basically uh, derived from speed. So we tap on speed here and now we can change the speed. Now this is going to affect both tempo and pitch. So it can go up uh, by a percentage or it can go down by a percentage and we can actually listen along and preview it as we go. So if we hit the play button, what I'll do is I'll uh, put the speed up and then I'll put the speed down and you can take a listen. What's the matter with people these days? They're trying to be something more. The worry. So yeah, not particularly great, but if I did want it to sound more like Crash Test Dummies there, I can hit the apply button and that will actually apply this effect to the whole track. And it's a pretty quick effects processing engine. You can see there, it just sort of goes across with its blue line and now it is done. So now if we hit play on this track, it will be a very different kind of song. So we're going to undo that because I don't actually want it to be like that. So we'll tap there, we'll tap undo, and we're back to our normal song. So the other options we had there that you would have seen is we can tap there, we can go to our effects again, and we can change just the pitch. So this is handy if you've got a sample or if you've got a loop that you want to change just the pitch, but keep the speed the same. And we can do this now in half tones or semitones as most of us call them. So if we just bring the pitch up, say five semitones or six, I've done there. Uh, let's just hit the play on the preview now and take a listen. <laughs> Now, what can you hear there? Well, you can hear some artifacts and this is part of changing the speed. I haven't come across any speed changing or pitch changing algorithms that make things sound 100% natural while changing the pitch or changing the speed. So you do need to keep that in mind that your mileage may vary in terms of quality, but let's turn it down and hit play and try this now.
And again, it sounds a bit weird. So yeah, would you use this for a whole track like this? Probably not. But let's take a final look here. We'll go into effects and we'll go to the tempo because we can actually up the tempo. So if we want it to be just faster, but not necessarily uh, change the pitch, we can try, let's let's just make it crazy fast. Let's go like 70% faster. So oh, I've applied it. That's okay. I didn't mean to apply. I meant to just hit the preview button, but that's all right. We'll let it apply. Uh, let's uh, hit play and see what this sounds like. We'll come into the middle of the track actually and hit play. The worrying more about what people say and who they can do something for. So again, we probably wouldn't go with that. So we'll tap it, we'll undo it. So yeah, the, look, the, the speed engine in this is not fabulous, but again, for the cost, 100% free, it's worth experimenting with and worth playing with if you wanted to. And less is more with this. So if you're doing one or two semitones, it's probably going to sound better than trying to do a whole bunch because it's not going to have to process the audio as much. So there you go. There's your speed, tempo, and pitch settings here in Lexus. Okay, let's have a look at the next effect we have here, which is a noise reduction. Now, I haven't played with this a whole heap, but you can see here you can dial in threshold and rate and attack and release. I tend to use the Bruce Free plugin from Clevgram, but it is costly. Uh, it does actually cost you to buy. So for something free, if you wanted to put in the time to play around with it, then this might be something to try if you've got noisy audio. Maybe if there's enough demand, I'll come back and grab some noisy audio and demo this, but that's probably a whole video in itself. So play around with the noise reduction and see what you can do. Next on the effects list that we have here, we'll come down, we've got a compressor. So yes, we've got a very basic compressor here where we can dial in threshold, we can dial in our ratio of our compressor, we've got attack and release sliders here, and of course the all important makeup gain. So uh, I've gone into detail about compression in other videos, but basically compression lets you increase the volume by pushing down the peaks and bringing up the quieter parts of the audio. So if you've got a piece of audio that that's gonna benefit from, then you can throw the compressor on here in the lecture audio editor. Continuing on, I did tell you this was a full featured audio editor, didn't I? We have the equalizer and amplifier. So yes, this is a parametric EQ that we can uh, adjust in here. Now we don't have Q control over this, so you're gonna have to go with just the default frequencies, but we do have, what's that, 10 bands that we can actually adjust here so we can dial in our EQ using this EQ uh, dials. And then we've also got a preamp here as well that we can actually dial in. If we just wanna use the preamp and not the EQ, we can tap off the EQ bring it back on there. So yep, yeah, EQ, always handy to have in here if you want to do a quick EQ adjustment on your audio file. Continuing on, we'll go back into our effects. We have echo, reverb, and vocoder. So I'll give you a very quick demo of a few of these. So if we tap on the echo here, uh, we can see we've got the echo level, we've got the delay, and we've got the feedback. So it's not, you know, not the most in-depth kind of delay. You'd probably want to use your delay plugin in your DAW. But if you were just doing a very basic sort of uh, audio file and you wanted to add some delay, this could be a good way to do it. So let's just hit the play button here and take a listen to this delay plugin. So you can hear what I did there is it started with a very long delay there. So that's where it's sort of like that. Duh, 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 duh. And then you can even put it right down to sort of more of a slap back kind of delay, right? Anything as low as 50 milliseconds, which is a very sort of quick delay. And the feedback, you can adjust there. The echo level, you can adjust as well. So again, a basic plugin, but worthwhile having here in Lexus Audio Editor. Where there goes delay, there must also go reverb. It's just the law. So we have a reverb plugin. Now, a reverb plugin actually has quite a lot of options here. So we've got the room size. So you can select that in what I'm assuming is meters. Um, we've got a reverb time. So we can actually have that there. We've got damping effect in here. We've got the input bandwidth that we can slide anywhere from zero up to 100%. We can have how much of our dry signal level goes in there. So we can put the dryer all the way down and just have our wet reverb sound. And then we've got some early reflection and tail level controls here. So yeah, in terms of a, a free reverb plug, in. We've got a whole lot going on here now. I've just dialed in a whole bunch of weird stuff. So let's hit play and see if this, uh, yeah, maybe block your ears. It might sound weird. <laughs> so I realized I still had the dry signal down. So that's why you were only hearing the reverb. But that's a cool way to, you know, just hear your reverb signal. Let's try that again. 
okay, I've got some really wacky settings in there, but yeah, you get the gist here. If you actually dialed that in with some regular settings, then you would be able to get a reverb sound here on your tracks. But let's continue on now. We'll come in here to the effects because we also have a vocoder. Yes, if you haven't used a vocoder before, they're very interesting. I won't demo it here. There you go. There's one for you to try out yourself. Go and do, do your voice and, and get your nice radio voice on by trying out the vocoder here. I'll let you go and play with that by yourself. So there you go. There's a whole bunch of very cool effects that we have on here. Again, for zero dollars, zero pounds and zero euros is a pretty darn good deal. There's a couple more things around audio manipulation, a few more advanced topics, which we're going to cover before we finish off now. Let's jump back in here a couple more times here and take a look at our effects. So if we go into the effects and scroll down to the bottom here, the last couple here are actually quite useful. They don't look very useful, but they are. So we can mute the left and right channels. So if you had a, a stereo image here and we only wanted one, you can see that we can mute the left or the right, and we can just get that one channel out. So say you recorded a stereo uh, recording using two channels and you only wanted, you had vocals on one and guitar on the other, you only wanted one, easy way to do that there. We'll hit OK on that one. So we can also go in here to effects and this, I actually got asked this question recently. The convert stereo mono, this one's actually really handy because you can exchange the left and right, you can swap those around, you can convert just the left to mono, you can convert the right to mono, and you can convert your whole stereo track to mono. Now what these two are useful for is if you're recording using an audio interface and all of your audio is either on your left or your right because you've got a two channel input and it's putting it all on one side or the other, you can actually just grab one side and then make it mono from that. Or if you've got a stereo file that you want to make mono for whatever reason, you tap that one, you hit apply, and there you go. I've got a mono version of my song there ready to go. So a couple of pretty handy advanced features here in Lexus Audio Editor. Last but definitely not least is how do we share our file from here? Well, we can just hit the save button up here in the top right corner and it's going to save it here. We can save to iCloud by tapping in the top right corner and you'll see here it's defaulted to an M4A file here, which is the, uh, the file type that it's going to save it at. So we're going to hit cancel for now. The other way we can do it is to tap in the top left here, scroll down and hit share. And then it's going to have your normal regular share sheet. So this is handy if you want to copy it over to another application that you have on your iPhone or your iPad. Send it to iMovie as your audio track for, for a movie, whatever you want to do, or just save it to your files. And I tend to use the share option just because I'm more familiar with it than the other option. Now, you did see that it was an M4A. Now, to change that, we need to go into our options. So to tap in the top left corner here, we can now scroll down and go to options and help and then tap on options and then scroll down here because what we want to do is we want our audio output format here in the bottom left. We'll tap that one and we'll make this WAV file. So we'll hit done and there you go. Now it's going to default as a WAV file there and there's some other options in there that you can play around with. So we've got it defaulting as a WAV file. Now if we tap on this and we go to our share option, like we've done there. It's now going to be a WAV file. Let's just uh, show you this finally. We'll save to files and we'll put this in our GarageBand file transfer folder as people these days dot wave like so. Uh, we're going <laughs> to, that's right, it's already called that. We'll keep both of them in there. So there you go. That is done. If we switch back over here to GarageBand now, then we, there it goes. We've got two versions of people these days. Oh, that's in the wrong spot. We need to go into on my iPhone GarageBand and then GarageBand file transfer. There we go. So yes, we've got the people these days and we've got people these days number two. It has actually exported that. Now the reason it's half the size there is that it's that mono file. So um, yes, if, if you're wondering why one of them is 19.5 and one of them is 9.2, it's because we mixed it down to mono. So we've got a mono version now of my song there ready to go. So that is going to do it. How cool is the Lexus Audio Editor? As I mentioned, I still haven't found any limitations. It hasn't popped up any screens asking me for some freemium feature access or anything like that. You can upgrade to the MP3 conversion module for around $10, I believe. Uh, so yes, if you want to support the, the creator, you can go ahead and do that. But uh, I'm super impressed with this in terms of a free audio editor with all of these effects and all of these functions available right out of the box. I think it's very cool. Thanks again for watching. If you've got comments, questions, or suggestions about this, you can leave those down below. There's two more videos you can watch just down the bottom there. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon, and I'll see you on the next video.